hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be talking about how to create this kind of animation like floaty animation and how to handle this animation like this when i'm going to tap on this the box will be open and again when i will tap on the this uh, box will be closed so without any delay let's get started so first of all for this you will have to install a package is floaty uh, version that I am using now it is 2.6.0 so first of all this is my home page home screen and I am calling this home screen from this main function here it is so first of all we will have to apply this with single ticker provided single ticker provider state mixing because I'm using controller here animation controller controller and we initialize it inside this init state controller equal to animation controller and the duration of the animation is two seconds we sync equal to we sync this okay and then we have started the animation and again we will dispose the animation like this again get boolean value initially box open will be false because when we run our application our box will be closed that is why i'm taking here false and on the tap of this button i will make it true and vice versa to open and close this box and this is my scaffold or this is my build uh, method and inside this scaffold app bar these are the basic things and inside this body i have taken center so that each and every element will be in center you can change the ui according to your requirement and i will put the code and package details in the description box basically i will put the code on github i will share the link in the description box you can check that so inside center i'm taking column and column text children and it would be uh, like main axis alignment will be center and inside children i'm using here lottie dot assets because i am using image oh, sorry uh, not whatever i am downloading uh, it is like bookmark json or box json file from the lottie website and i am putting that inside this asset that is why i am using lottie dot asset if your image will come from api or from the server then you can use lottie dot network again this is asset box dot json so how will you download it let's move to this and for now suppose you want to install this then you will click on this and then download save to workspace to download will take couple of moment then it will reload here now you can download lottie json it is downloaded here okay let me run this will start animating open close open close so this is for handling this animation i have created here controller this controller so i will make use of it so let's move forward use controller and this is the controller that i have initialized 
above and then I'm using elevated button so elevated button takes forward the on press and inside this on press I'm using if and else condition what is in if con condition if box open equal to equal to true what will happen and else if box open is false then what it will do it will make it true when I will press on this elevated button and controller dot forward it will move forward and same as in else box open will be false and controller dot reverse again it has got one more property and then I am using set state for showing the text on the button like I am providing some style to the elevated button like primary is for background of the button and secondary is for button text level basically this is the text which will be visible on the button like box open if box open is false then open box will be the button title and if it is true then close box will be the button label or title and this is the style that i am giving font size 18 and it is bold okay so let me run this now when i will tap this as you can see that the auto animation has stopped again when i'm tapping this what happened when we tap this for the first time like it is open text because the value of the box open is false when i will tap on this it will become true and controller will move forward and now the value of box open is true so it when i will press this it will move inside this else and it will move inside this else and again box open value will be false and controller will be reverse same condition is happening for this text also and suppose if you don't want to use this button and you want to open close on this on tapping of this box then you can do one thing you will have to wrap this with gesture detector and then on tap what you will do you will just add this condition if box open equal to equal to false and what will happen box open will be true and controller dot forward forward okay and for the else part box open will be false and controller dot reverse yes now what i will do i will remove this elevated button let me comment it out and let me save this the elevated button has gone now when i will tap on this box it will open and again it will close you can handle the speed of the animation from here let's make it one so the speed has changed if i will provide five here 